Hey guys, I'm pissed off. I just I just recorded the whole episode. The mic was fucking right here. It was plugged in, and it sounds like shit. But, you know, skip this episode. I'm still going to put it out. But, god damn, man. Why am I doing this? You know? Chicken and kale Caesar style salad. Caesar style salad. An important distinction. Uh, they can't just call it a Caesar salad. I'm not sure why. Smoked trout. I want to say tartines. Tartan seems a little familiar. It seems like it needs to be a little. God, just noise. I do. Where do I live? Balsamic glazed onion cheeseburgers. Yeah, you know, it's just a cheeseburger with onions on it. I mean, what am I going to pick? A, a Caesar salad, a burger, or something called smoked trout tartans? Tartines? Leave me a... tweet me. Tweet me the uh, correct pronunciation. Prep. Let's talk about prep. I got I heard. This is a crazy, weird dish. It's funny that I say dish all the time. Should I say recipe? I'll start saying recipe. Prep was 90% of doing this. There was no cooking. You didn't cook. Smart, smoke, smart, you know, when you smark something. The smoked trout fillets just came already smoked, which makes sense. They're not gonna like make you get a smoke machine. So they gave you these two little smoked trout fillets and they were smoked. <laughs> Prep was pretty standard. One of the things I don't like that they are constantly making you do is picking leaves off of stems. This was, in this instance, it was dill. You had to pick up dill leaves off the stems. It's monotonous. What's wrong with the stems? Are the stems that bad? What if I cut them up real tiny? Would that be more work or less? The act of picking things off of stems it's getting a little, getting a little old, Blue Apron. What are we, what are we in, uh, the Grapes of Wrath? Was that about actual grape picking? Wow, slicing. So much, just everything was sliced. This one's been bored lately. I don't know what to do with her. She doesn't like any of the toys I buy her. If you got a good cat toy, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and, uh, like and follow and subscribe. Because it was like, mostly making the recipe, I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give prep <laughs> two. <laughs> cooking. What? Is there cooking in this? I don't know. Let's find out. There was a little bit of cooking in it. I digress on my previous you had to cook the shallots, which like, what's the, they're just onions, right? Aren't they just little onions? Aren't they just little onions? You had to saute them and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then you had to toast the bread. Um, uh, the cooking was easy. I'll do, I'll do five stars for for cooking, she's gonna kill me. Okay, hostage, what's next? It was good, but um, I'm not so sure I would want a sandwich. Like, this didn't seem like a meal to me. It, se it seemed like a, like an hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre, I'm having a stroke. Hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre. Hors d'oeuvre. Seemed like an hors d'oeuvre to me. Oh, most of these did. Like, this, it was like a little slice of a half sandwich, I guess an open face kind of sandwich, and, and, a, and a very simple, dumb turnip salad. This was only a salad with uh, watermelon radish. If you don't like radishes, maybe you'll like a watermelon radish. Well, burger and fries, but it was like, look, there's, you get three fries. What are you doing to me? I'm wasting away. I don't like... 
I don't like baguette. I think there are very few breads that can, that can sustain themselves through like a, an extra cooking process because bread, by definition, is already baked. Baguettes, you, you, you put them in the oven and, and it's just hard, it's so hard. It's, it, makes it, a, it makes it a crouton. It makes it a goddamn crouton. And croutons are good in salads, and that's about it. So to eat this stuff on top of this thing, <laughs> it was hard. It was very hard. You can't cut through it. Smoked trout is very smoky, and then they add dill to it. I think there was vinegar in this, too. What's the word for dill and smoky and vinegary? Because it's uh, pungent, I guess. My friend Tony made this for as a dip. As good as a dip. It's good in small doses. Kind of like Aerosmith. You know, you can listen to Love in an Elevator and, and then you're done for 10 years. Oh, there were sunflower seeds in it. Give me all the sunflower seeds you got. I'll take, I'll take any nuts in any dish. I love putting nuts in, 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 in the things that I eat. I don't think there's a way that you could take that sexually, but just in case you do, grow up. Taste. The salad was, is, is, it was, it was, it was an afterthought. You could tell they really phoned the salad in. They're like, so taste gets a, a three because it's weird. A three. It's intriguing. The taste is intriguing. We all know that means three. Intriguing. Reheatability. Uh, awful. They should make bulletproof vests out of the bread at this point. Bake some baguette, cut it in half, put it in the oven for 15 minutes, put it in the fridge for 24 hours, and then put it in the microwave for three, two to three minutes. I guess what I'm saying is reheatability, it's a salad and a thing on a baguette, which is impossible to reheat. So it gets a motherfucking zero. Mmm, you can't even take that to the bank, because if you tried, they'd be like, we can't, there's nothing here. We can't deposit this. Please leave. Overall, I'm going to give this dish a, a fucking, I'll say a one, because the only reason it got a three on taste is because it was weird, and... The prep was easy enough. The cooking was like kind of a non-issue. It's easy to make. It's like making a dip. I think Tony nailed it by making it a dip. They essentially gave me a dip. They were like, here, make this dip and then pretend it's a meal. Have some lettuce with it and a radish, you fucking jerk. Give us our $60. And I'm like, now I'm going to review you. And you get in a one. Your customer service is great. This is this is an outlier. I don't know why you're speaking to me this way. Is any of this making sense? Have I drank too much? Is there a too much? I haven't worked in two years. Eh. There's no causality there. That's what like that's what they call a coincidence. Please, for the love of God, somebody hire me. Break it down, what you wanna do, yeah. I think we've discovered a lot here today. Uh, thank you for watching. All right, Oliver, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the... Stop. To the people. Don't you see them? Am I losing my mind? Yeah, that's well put.